Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I appreciate my friend from Utah for doing that, and I'm glad we could keep this photograph up. So here's how I got involved and engaged in this. It's very personal. Uh, actually, the man who took this photograph, David DeYoung, is a constituent and a friend of mine uh, back from West Michigan. He was actually part of a project that went out to try then to photograph all the remaining uh, World War I survivors, uh, traveled to Europe, traveled to Australia, and then had met Frank Buckles along the way. Uh, and had gotten to know him very well. I unfortunately was not able to meet him in person, but attended his funeral at Arlington, where we, uh, where we said goodbye as a nation. And uh, I can tell you that uh, it was his desire. It was Frank's desire, uh, David's desire, his family's desire, my desire, and I think now finally this body's desire to properly say thank you. The other reason why this is very personal and very important to me as I get to talk about a man named Bill Heisinger. Not me, Bill Heisinger, but my grandfather, Bill Heisinger, who happened to fight in World War I. He was part of a group called the Polar Bears, men who were t chosen from Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Michigan because they figured they'd be used to the cold, and they sent them all the way up around Norway to Archangel, uh, Archangel Russia, to fight in an undeclared portion of World War I. In fact, uh, Grandpa, Grandpa Bill was there after Armistice Day, where British, Canadian, and American troops remained uh, well into the summer uh, of that following year, into that spring of the following year, uh, after Armistice. And uh, it wasn't until much, much later that we were actually even officially recognized as being part of that. Uh, but I can tell you, hang, uh, one of my prized possessions is my grandfather's old doughboy helmet uh, that hangs in, our, uh, hangs in our family's home. And uh, it's just a fitting, timely thing that we finally say thank you. We finally recognize this group of men who fought a terrible war, who fought a war that so many had hoped would be the war to end all wars. And unfortunately, we know that isn't the case. Uh, but I'd like to commend uh, our friends across the aisle, uh, uh, the, the gentle lady from, uh, from the district and, and the gentleman from Missouri for working on this and, and led by uh, my friend uh, from Texas, Mr. Poe, uh, to get this done. This is an important statement uh, for us and a fitting tribute to that generation. And, uh, Frank, we thank you for your service and for all those families. And I yield back.